Hey YouTube, Repo Man 64. I tried to make this video two times before uh, on the computer and it wouldn't work. So I'm going to do it on the phone real quick. Wanted to show you where we are now. Um, go through some pictures real quick. So here we are. This is what the skies are going to look like on March 17th, the first day of the year in 2030. The sun will just be coming into Aquarius. During the entire thousand years of the millennium, the sun will be in Aquarius. This is what it looks like on March 17th in the year 3030, at the end of the thousand year millennium. It will have just gone through the water. During this period of time, during this thousand years, the sun will be going through that water into Aquarius. Now, as you know, the precession of the sun, the sun does go to the left, but on this date, each year, it backs up ever so slightly, and over the course of 2,000 years, it makes it through a constellation. So, during the 1,000 years of the millennium, it will make it through the water. Go to the upper room and find a man bearing a picture of water and rent the upper room. That keeps happening and that keeps happening still so it means something maybe it's just meaning that uh the day is near so here on whoops made that too big march 17th we show is the head of the year 14 days after that from the head of the year is when Jesus goes to the cross and gives up the ghost. He does this at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. From 3 o'clock till 6 o'clock, when it becomes dark, is that a counted day? The answer is no. He rises on April the 3rd. Before sunrise, is the 3rd, April the 3rd, counted? And the answer is no. So we have three days, three full days, and three full nights where he was in Hades. Now, the penalty for sin was paid when Jesus said on the cross that it is finished. He paid the penalty. What was he doing for those three days? He went down to Hades to lead captivity captive and bring them out. That April Fool's Day falls right in the middle of that. Now, the Jews, or the Hebrew calendar, is calling the head of the year this year. They've spotted the new moon. Um, I guess the rest of the planet spotted it on the 22nd, but they, over in Israel, did not spot it until the 23rd because of cloud cover. So, 14 days after March 23rd will be April the 6th. April the 6th is the date that they are calling for um, Passover because it's 14 days after the new moon was spotted. Now, if it was spotted on the 22nd, they're off by a day. So I wanted to show you this where we are right now is the 24th today on the Enoch timeline is this meal with Mary, Martha, and Lazarus. And one year earlier, they turned water to wine. In two days, on the 26th of March, will be the triumphant entry. I also believe this is the day that Jesus takes the scroll and that we are there. So I believe we're very close to the window of rapture. However, I've been thinking that when God says, I will turn your feast days into sorrow, that maybe he's using their timeline. I hit my lip today really bad. It hurt. Um, use the time, the, the uh, their timeline, just to show that uh, you know their feast days turn to sorrow. So, if God is using March the twenty third, we can still keep looking at their dates of when this is happening. The head of the year, as you know, has been called by so many different people on so many different days. And I'm no different. I think that the head of the year is on March 17th, the day after the day of equal parts. And um, we'll just keep watching. So let me go back into the pictures here. 
I had a whole video made and none of my screen shared, so it was a mess. The Jews or the Hebrews are calling Passover on the 6th, like I said, because they spotted the new moon on the 23rd. Now, I believe that they knew this date long before they spotted the moon, so this is the date they're calling for Passover. Passover, of course, would be the date that Jesus went to the cross. On the Hebrew timeline, we are six days away from their date. Um, and so it would be on the 30th of March. And here we show that uh, in our calendar, we show uh, Good Friday, the day Jesus went to the cross on April the 7th, another day later. So... I think that's it. I wanted to show you uh, the verse in the Bible. I don't know if the Bible will come up when I'm on airplane mode or not. Yes, it does. Yay. Exodus 12. Now remember that nine plagues have passed in Egypt already. And here we are. We've already made it through nine plagues. The Hebrews are, or the Jews are supposed to be released from Egypt. They're supposed to go. But what God says to Moses back here at the very end of 11 is, And the Lord said unto Moses, Pharaoh shall not hearken unto you, that my wonders may be multiplied in the land of Egypt. And Moses and Aaron did all these wonders before Pharaoh, and the Lord hardened Pharaoh's heart so that he would not let the children of Israel go out of his land. So there is a period of time. Can you imagine being Moses and Aaron? They did all these miracles, nine of them in all. And then God says, nope, he's still not going to listen to you. He's still not going to let you go. How much time has passed for all nine of those to happen? We don't know. But here's this one we do know exactly. This now, this month shall be unto you the beginning of months. It shall be the first month of the year to you. He doesn't give us when. He doesn't tell us to use a moon. He doesn't. We don't know. We're, I am assuming that they are using the Enoch timeline that the head of the year will be the 17th. If he's using the moon, then it would change every year. The Enoch timeline doesn't. It will always fall on March the 17th. This passage will always be March 17th. From the beginning until the end, it will be March 17th. This month shall be unto you the beginning of months. It shall be the first month of the year to you. Speak unto the children of Israel, saying... Now, he's talking to them, right? He's saying, hey, he's not going to let you go. And today is the first day of the month. Oh, and on the 10th, I want you to to get a uh, lamb. Moses must have been like, 10 more days. i got to wait 10 more days. We have to wait 10 more days to leave. You just did nine plagues. We destroyed Egypt. They gave us all this jewelry and gold and everything. We're so ready to go. But no, I want you to take a lamb on the 10th day. And then on the 14th day, I want you to sacrifice this lamb, and I want you to put its blood on the door, so that way when um, they go around, when he comes around, he'll pass those houses that have the blood on the, on the, uh, on the door, and not on, there won't be any, of course, on the Egyptians, because they don't believe. And so, here you are, brand new year, just started. You got to wait 10 more days and then you got to wait four more days. You got to wait 14 more days before you leave. And that's the same um, concept I wanted to, to, to talk to you about the cross. The same thing happened at the cross. Jesus began paying the penalty. He paid the penalty. It was finished and over. But he began on those three days at nightfall. But yet he spent three hours of daylight in the tomb. Then he spent nine hours after the, 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 the fourth uh, day was finished. He spent nine more hours in the tomb until he was raised early in the morning. And I might even say 
three o'clock in the morning that he was raised before sunrise. That night wasn't completed, so he completed three full days and three full nights. And I think we're in the same time frame right now where everything's done. I believe God is, I hope, <laughs> I believe God has already told Jesus, go get your bride. But there's an exact moment when this is going to happen, and it could be literally any second. I'm looking very closely at, you know, I was looking at very closely at today, looking at the triumphant entry of the 26th, and of course, Jesus going to the cross on the 30th and raised on April the 3rd. April Fool's Day, I mean, what a day that would be, but that's not really the Hebrews or the Jewish uh, a Jewish holiday, but they'll be looking at, uh, since they're six days off, for example, the triumphant entry um, is not something that they celebrate, but when they call the new year on March the 23rd, six days later, you wind up at the cross. Seven days later, you wind up at the cross. So there are six days, actually, six days later. So March 24th is the day that Mary and Martha had, and Lazarus had a meal with Jesus. So I think we're in that point. I think we're in that moment right now where it's all said and done, and it's just a matter of waiting, just like the Hebrews had to, or the, the, the Hebrews had to in Egypt, in that they were like, okay, nine plagues have passed. God's going to tell me to, to, to get out of here. Okay, now in the 10th day of this, this month, what? I got to wait 10 more days? And then on the 14th day, so what did they wind up doing? They wound up leaving on the 14th day, right? On Passover is when they left, or they did it. They hung, they, they did pass over, and I guess they left in the morning, maybe on the 15th. So we're in that time frame now, and if God is using that calendar, that timeline where the head of the year actually he's going to, uh, I believe it's always been March 17th, but if he's going to use theirs just so that they can, he can turn their feast days into sorrow, then, you know, maybe we're looking at the, the moon after all. I don't know. I do believe this timeline is accurate, and I believe that. You know, just like the, the priest, they tied a rope around him. He would go in there and they would inevitably die because they kept, they did not obey the timeline. They kept changing it around. This was the time where um, they brought in the new moon thing where they were worshiping the moon each month. And it was, it messed up the whole, all the feast days. I, I, any more than your birthday falls on a day. I think any one of these feast days falls on the same day every year. So... Anyway, it's a quick video. I just wanted to bring that to you. We're still watching. If you have anything, put it in the comment section. Come in a Discord and, uh, you know, present it. We have a lot of wonderful people in there. And uh, stay patient. Don't, uh, don't uh, do what the Bible indicates that some will do, and that's to start uh, getting upset and, and thinking this isn't going to happen. It's going to happen. This is, event is going to take place. And when it does... We're going to be standing in heaven in perfect 20-year-old bodies in perfect condition going, we're here, we're here. No more bangs, you know, no more hits and stuff. So I bumped myself really bad. But anyway, um, I guess we will uh, see you on the other side. I don't want to make any more videos. I want to go home. So, you know, hopefully we go. Go to a quiet place by yourself. Nobody needs to know. And you don't need to tell anybody. Accept the Lord in your heart. And uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And we'll chat with you again later.